classical problem of synchronization. This topic is classical problem of synchronization. Uh, is someone saying something? So problem we will discuss today is the bounded buffer problem. So what is a bounded buffer problem? Uh, this is the producer consumer problem that we are revisiting again with the bounded buffer case. What is the producer consumer issue? Uh, here uh, you can see that we are having a shared buffer area where producer and consumers are sharing the resources like producer is con producing an item which is put into the buffer and consumer is consuming the item right and then this is the shared area which is producer and consumer both are using so we have seen that with the help of counter in previous uh, they are able to uh, solve the issue but there is a issue with this counter that if both the producer and consumer try to update that counter value simultaneously then there is an issue so with the help of semaphore, let's see how we can solve this problem. Uh, so how many semaphores we are using? Let's see. Uh, uh, we are having n buffers. Each can hold one item. Here we are showing one buffer. Now in this problem, we are taking n buffers. Each can hold one item. We are using one semaphore, which is named as mutex. Mutex is mutual exclusion. It will help in uh, maintaining the mutual exclusion of the processes. So semaphore mutex, which is initialized to one. And semaphore is an integer variable. Remember, it is an integer variable. So next is semaphore full. It is used to uh, find out the how is buffer is full or not. So we are initializing it to with the value zero. And then semaphore empty initialized to the value. And n is the maximum value that a buffer can hold. Okay. So please uh, note it down. You have to find the reasoning. Take this screenshot or everyone is having pen and paper, I assume. So please note it down that we are having n buffer. We will use three semaphores. One for mutex, that is for to maintain the mutual exclusion. One is for to track the buffer is full or not. And one semaphore is used to find out buffer is empty or not. Okay, everyone write it down three semaphores and when you are talking about semaphore this is a simple integer variable so make visualize this written thing into a diagram like make some boxes name it as mutex design one more box name it as full box means memory cell design one more memory cell and name it as empty okay are you done with this yes or no everyone has draw the diagram of three boxes with the name mutex full and empty yes give me the signal i am waiting for your signal semaphore is what your signaling methodology right so give me a signal i am waiting for your response is everyone having pen and paper have you draw the three memory cells with the name mutex full and empty Initialize the mutex with one, initialize the full with zero, initialize the empty with n. Let me know. Okay. Just one answer. What about others? See, you have got all the tools. You have to solve this problem. I am just giving you the solution, but you have to find out the reasoning. So each and every method I have explained you how this semaphore works, how wait function works, how signal function works. So let's see who has got the concept clearly and find out these things okay what about others two more answers please have you draw the diagram with three semaphores one for mutex one for full one for empty okay cool so let's move cool so here i am showing you the code the structure of producer process with this semaphore thing please write it down you have to give the reasoning. Write the code, everyone. Take the screenshot or write the code. I will recommend you write the code. Come on, write this code. Today you will drive the class, okay? I will just explain your answer if you are not able to explain your answer, okay? 
you know what is weight function you know what is signal i am just giving in glyphs weight is for decrement the counter signal is to increment the counter crux is what weight is to decrement the counter signal is to increment the counter do you got this concept <clears throat> i am <clears throat> i am writing down in the chat box also in crux in crux what it is please by the time write you this code in your notebook in crux weight is to weight function is to decrement and signal is to signal is to increment okay so this is the crux have you written now let me know give the signal yes or no just how many lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 lines okay so i am showing you the consumer code now <clears throat> i am showing you the consumer code now write it down as well write it down this <clears throat> and then find the reasoning explain at least find the reasoning how they are maintaining this concurrency properly so write the consumer process let's see you will explain how this code is working you have to do a reverse engineering right normally what we do we have a problem we write the code this is called engineering and when we are having the solution already in hand and then we have to find the reasoning behind that solution this is called a reverse engineering so let's see who is able to do the reverse engineering of this solution see don't hesitate by giving the explanation if you are wrong i am i will correct you this is my job okay i am your teacher i will explain each and everything if you have got the correct idea i will tell that yes you are right you are thinking in the right direction okay it will boost your morale so done are you done with this write the code of consumer have you written the code of consumer yes or no are you done with this just couple of lines give me the signal are you done with this consumer process okay cool so now you have got the producer and consumer process solution now give me the reasoning how this is maintaining the what concurrency who will explain take your time this is very simple one and i have given you the crux how this weight and signal function will work right weight is to decrement signal is to increment keep this in your mind and you will solve this puzzle okay very easy one at least the three answers i need from your class let's see who are top 3 students in this particular question okay let's see who will solve this question see you have got all the tools now you have to made the recipe right so today you will drive the class let's see who will explain this code if you are not able to explain i will explain don't worry i will let you know each and everything about this bounded buffer problem okay take your time i am waiting shall i do busy waiting kind of thing or simple block myself and wait for your signal what do you suggest yes do you understand what i am talking about <laughs> let me ask someone as you are not able to answer uh, gorav tripathi are you there gorav tripathi gorav tripathi are you there gorav tripathi beta are you there yes is your other party is not listening me 
प्रखर शुक्ला हरी दया प्रखर बेटा प्रखर शुक्ला हरी दया प्रखर यस एवरी वन इज बिजी इन सॉल्विंग दी पजल नो वन इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग अपर्णा आर यू देर अपर्णा वर्मा यस सर यस व्हाट यू सजेस्ट शैल आई डू द बिजी वेटिंग काइंड ऑफ थिंग और सिंपली ब्लॉक माय सेल्फ एंड वेट फॉर योर सिग्नल दैट यू आर डन विद दिस प्रॉब्लम डू यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बिजी वेटिंग यस यस अपर्णा डू यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बिजी वेटिंग we discussed in previous class uh busy waiting is something that you are waiting for an uh, occurrence but you are keep asking that if as i am giving an example that is doctor is free is doctor is free right you are waiting for your turn to meet the doctor but doctor is busy with another patient right means he is doing another work now if you yes. wants to meet you are just keep asking the compounder is doctor is free is doctor is free you are making yourself busy and still you are waiting right <laughs> okay so take your time take your time solve this question let me know who will give me the reasoning how this producer consumer problem can be solved with the help of schema 4 tick tick 1 tick tick 2 tick tick 3 so much time you are taking okay let me have this one also okay read this code like this make both the processes code here and this is what this is for producer this is producer process and this is what consumer process okay and what i wants we we need three schema force right let's have three schema force three schema force one two and 3 and uh, what are the names this is mutex this memory cell is for mutex this memory cell is for like empty okay this memory cell is for whom full okay these are three schema fours right and uh, we need three what let uh, n is the buffer size let's have an buffer also here we are having a buffer okay so let's have an buffer also uh, let uh, n is equal to 3 n is the maximum size of buffer na so i am taking let n equal to 3 so the stage is set explain who can explain how this is working anyone can explain i am giving you the chance to come into the limelight show your skills what you have got and what you have in understand in last previous classes that we have studied about concurrency i have given you all the tools like schema for what is wait function what is signal function and in crux i am i have also explained wait is simply to decrement and what signal is to increment and uh, what are the other things uh, we required what is the initial value we have taken uh, initial value we have taken here like mutex is 1 and full is 0 and empty is 1 right so mutex is 1 mutex is 1 empty is what n so here we are taking n as 
and full is zero, right? And this is what empty is and full is zero. Okay, right? So now, can you do the reasoning? Anyone? Come on, why you are taking so much time? Come on. Yes. Are you able to see my screen? My screen is visible. I have given you all these things like both the codes are here. Producer code is here. Consumer code is here. Here is the producer code and here is the consumer code. Yes. Anyone? If you are not able to solve this completely, at least suggest something how we can proceed and how we are doing something. Let me ask someone. You are taking too much time. Um, Ayush, Ayush, are you there? Roll number 13, Ayush. Ayush, are you there? Ayush, better? Okay, no issue if you are not able to solve this. I will explain you. I need one person to assist me. Who will assist me in solving this question? Anyone? Anyone? I need assistance from one student who will help me in solving this puzzle. Just one student? Come on. Give your signal who is willing to help me in solving this question. You can unmute yourself if you want to help me. Anyone? Come on. No one is interested in helping your teacher. Oh my God. Come on. I need at least one response from your class. No one is responding. What happened? Are you sleeping? Not interested in studying today's class? Let me know. We will discuss this on Monday or whenever we have next class. No issue. Come on, I need one person. Oh, noise proactive. Neither you are willing to help me when I am asking. Sir. Okay, who is there? Ananya, okay, thank Sen. you, Beta. Thank you. So let's start. I need one assistance for helping me. Thank you, Ananya. At least you have the girls to speak. <laughs> okay, let's start. <laughs> So let's, uh, we are having this producer code, right? We are yes. having this producer code, we are having this consumer code. Let's start with producer because buffer is empty right now. So let's produce something, then consumer will able to consume. So now we are having three memory cells for semaphore. One is for mutex. What is the initial value of mutex, Ananya? Initial value? Sir, one. one, very good. What is the initial value of empty semaphore? Sir, three. Very good. Uh, that is is. And for full, it is zero, right? So <laughs> let's yes. start for this producer code. Let's start with this producer code. Now producer firstly has to produce an item. Then he has to put that item into this buffer, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So let's start with this. Uh, first, uh, oh. Mm. Yes, let's start here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. So what is the code? Wait, and it will operate on which semaphore? Empty, right? Where is empty semaphore? It is here. So what is the working of wait function? To increment or to decrement? Decrement. Sir. Wait is for decrement, beta. Wait is yes, for sir. decrement. Okay, so let's decrement the counter. We are having initial value as three. So now it is three minus one. That is three minus one, two. two. Okay. So this is the updated value. Empty is two now. So now what happened? It will acquire the log on mutex. So what it will do by executing this code? What this will happen? Mutex. This is the mutex semaphore, right? Yes, sir. Sir, it will. 
it will what what it will do it will decrement the counter right yes sir so what is the updated value zero very good so make it zero make it zero so far so good yes sir okay cool so what happened a uh, producer first come into the picture he has produced an item now it has to put it into the buffer so it has to decrement the empty because empty is the maximum value we are taking we, now we have decreased the empty value so now empty is 2 now and then we acquire the lock on this mutex that i am going to enter into the critical section critical section is to add the item to the buffer now i am adding the item into the buffer so let's add an item into the buffer now he is in the process of adding the item into the buffer he is doing this right this activity is going on this activity is going on right now means he, uh, this person is this producer is right now here and working means it is a uh, putting that item into the buffer so let's see what consumer is doing right now now comes through this consumer code now consumer comes he, he is there now it will execute this function wait full what it will do full is here can yes, it, can it do something can it do sir. it is going to decrement this right but what is sima for this is a positive integers only right so it cannot acquire the lock it will be blocked do you remember whenever that sima for value is less than 0 then the process will be less than equal to 0 then the process will be blocked right means yes. means as you aware also that if buffer is empty means full is zero means there is no item into the buffer how can consumer consume an item right right yes sir see the producer has not given the signal on the full it is here it is in the process only to putting the item into the buffer until and unless signal is given by this producer this full cannot be incremented right yes sir so till now consumer is blocked because there is no item into the buffer right so it is either you are busy waiting thing or we have implemented that hardware thing that we have made made a waiting queue and that consumer process is waiting into that queue so let's see again as we know that consumer is blocked here he is not able to do anything so now once here in producer also now producer has done with putting the item into the buffer now it will release the lock now it is releasing the lock on mutex so what signal will do it is it will increment or decrement the mutex increment value so let's increment the counter let's increment the counter so what is the updated value right now this is one, one. cool now it is going to give the signal on full that i have put the item into the buffer and this signal will go to whom consumer right as you can see here this full is also using here consumer also now let's uh, give the signal to full how we are how this function signal will do with this full it will increment the increment the value. value so let's make it incremented okay so far so good yes cool. sir everything is uh, smooth now what will happen here that uh, consumer is blocked right because he is not yes. able to acquire the lock on the full right but as soon as you have put the value of full as 1 now what it can do it can acquire the lock right yes right? sir so now this consumer process is able to execute this wait function now what will be the updated value of wait function sorry full sima 4 0 it will decrement decrement let's make it cool so this line is executed now it will take a lock on this mutex right so take a lock on this mutex how you will take a lock you will what decrement. this wait will do decrement right decrement means on the Decre bulb of your icu that you are do, going to do the operation right so now bulb is on mutex now no other process is able to take the mutex on means lock on this 
because this is one by weight. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what happened? So zero. Sorry, sorry. So it will be zero. It will be zero. Previous value was one. So we have removed this. Let me remove. See, this is that is why I need one person for assistance. <laughs> Thank you, Anand. <laughs> okay. So here is zero now. So we have done with this weight and this weight mutex. So now we are good to go. Now we are doing this thing. Remove an item from the buffer. Remove an item from the buffer. Now remove the item from the buffer. Now it is in the process to remove the item from the buffer. Right. Suppose for the time being producer is again comes into the picture. Okay. It's still he is removing an item. He has not given, consumer has not given their signal on mutex either, nor signal on empty. Remember the situation. Now let's again, producer comes into the picture. He, is, he has produced an item, right? Now he is trying to take the lock on empty. Can he take the lock on empty? No, sir. Why? Why no? Sir, because it is not less than or equal to zero. So what is the uh, value of empty? Tell me. What is the value so of it empty? Can... <laughs> Sir, it... Where is the empty semaphore? Empty semaphore is here, beta. It can acquire the lock on this empty semaphore. What is the value? It is two. Oh, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. It I is two, it. right? It is two. So it can acquire the lock on empty. Okay, so what it can do? Wait on empty. What is the updated value of empty now? Tell me. So now one. One, very good. So make it one. Make it one. Cool. So now it has a. He has make the counter decrement that I have. I'm going to uh, put that item into the buffer. Now to putting the item into the buffer, it has to take the lock on the mutex. Now, can he take the lock on the mutex? Can this statement executed by producer? Tell me. Uh, yes. Yes. No, because it is zero. How can you decrement less than zero? Right. Now it cannot yes. acquire the lock on mutex. Understand? Yes, sir. Because mutex is, uh, take the analogy with this counter variable. Mutex is what? Your counter in producer consumer mm -hmm. problem. Because what we have done there, that if we are uh, updating counter variable simultaneously, then there was an issue, right? So what we are doing, we are making a mutual exclusion on that counter that once one person is updating the buffer, no other person is allowed to make the changes in that buffer at the same time, right? So we have made this mutex. We are trying to acquire the lock on mutex, but mutex value is already logged by whom? Consumer, right? So yeah. it will be blocked here. Producer will be blocked here, right? So let's see when it will be released. Now we, where we were in consumer process, we were here, right? Yes. Sir. So let's remove the item. So let's remove the item. See? We are, we have removed the item. Now it will give the signal. Now it will give the signal, right? So what is the updated value of signal? Come on. Uh, mutex will be one now. Mutex will be one. Good. Make it one. Make it one. Right. As soon as mutex is one, what will happen in producer process? The it can acquire the lock, right? Yes, sir. It can acquire the lock. Let's make a lock. Now we have, we are now updating it to zero. See, follow the sequence what we are taking. Okay. So now he is adding the item into the buffer. Now that producer is adding the item into the buffer right now. And then it can give the signal and can signal the full also. And here, what consumer has done, it has given the signal on mutex. If mutex is released by the consumer, now it will give the signal to empty that I have consumed one item. So when one item is consumed, then what will be the updated value of empty? Two. One, two. Very good. Give the signal. Let's move. Now what is the updated value? Means two slots are empty into the buffer. Mm -hmm. So in this way, 
mutual exclusion has been implemented we have implemented the progress thing also and the what is the third one bounded waiting and how bounded waiting is once consumer has released the lock then producer can make uh, acquire the lock and go for uh, inserting the item into the buffer similarly when consumer will uh, take the chance once producer is done with producing the item into the buffer so everyone is good with this very pretty simple one you have to simply just take the track of mutex semaphore empty and full semaphore is anyone having any question let me know are we good with this solution yes or no yes sir everyone yes sir so uh, i will suggest that you can do this thing at your own you have got the idea how these things are working if you try to solve this uh, sequence as i have explained you by yourself then in examination you don't have to mug these things you have got the idea in your mind see i am flowing with the code right okay do one thing do this thing do this thing and suppose consumer comes in the picture suddenly what will happen i have seen it will be blocked if is it is not able to acquire the lock on the mutex right uh, okay what producer will do in this scenario you can make multiple scenarios and put your knowledge in that see your system is just like your robot what you are saying to your robot it is doing the same thing you have uh, written down the code your producer consumer problem for the solution and it will do whatever you are saying you are saying wait on sema for full it will decrement the counter of full you are saying wait mutex what you are doing you are going to decrement the counter and how you can decrement the counter if value is not zero means it is greater than zero only you can decrement otherwise you will be blocked simple clear cut idea about this and what about signal signal is bahut hi acha bachcha hai signal is simply increment right whatever it is you just have to increment you don't have to think if it is less than 0 or greater than 0 nothing you have to think about the signal signal means to increment that's it whatever is there understand everyone is all good done are we good with this let me know once again please take the screenshot of this also aparna is asking something when a semaphore is blocked in producer process then we will go to consumer process and vice versa uh, see if it is blocked i am explaining that you can go to there when you can release the lock on the producer process means otherwise you simply have to wait until unless you execute the code of consumer right aparna until unless consumer release the lock on mutex what producer process can do it ha simply has to wait na producer has to wait until and unless consumer release the lock on mutex okay so you can do these things uh, and uh, find out how are the different scenario and uh, one homework I, 